Anti-corruption experts have called for more capacity of institutions to bring those accountable to book. News First David Paldano spoke to several experts in Colombo on this matter. The commission uh, needs to be independent. And then the third ingredient, I would say, is the capacity of the institution itself. It needs more resources, more staff. If you look at international practice, at least 0.2% of national budget is required for uh, specialized agencies to do their job. So the strong public supporting, public backing, uh, as well as political will is needed. Uh, as you know, I live in Singapore. So even for $1 bribery, you know, they can put you in jail for three months. The point is that only the anti-corruption agency cannot be effective in fighting corruption. So there also needs the civil service reform in terms of integrity building in civil service that has to go hand in hand uh, together with the efforts from the uh, from the commission. How do, what do you think about Sri Lanka's efforts to stop corruption and what kind of uh, suggestions would you give to help us fight corruption in our country? Hong Kong has been building up a really good reputation in having a clean society. We reach out to the public. Anti-corruption agency should be independent from any kinds of interference and uh, should be directly uh, responsible to the president, not to only do the law enforcement work, but also, as I mentioned, the preventive work and the educational work.